Vinet, we got a new iPhone. Let's unbox it. All right, let's do it. All right, I'll be right here if you need me. Cool. Tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome to Press X to Play. My name is Vinet. Today I've got a very special unboxing. We're gonna unbox the iPhone 10. This is a space gray model with 64 gig of storage. And without further ado, let's get unboxing, guys. So you just pull off the tab like we normally do. We don't need that. Nice little box before we get down to it. You can actually see the the shine of the stainless steel. And it's in space gray, so that's that's a nice touch. And here it is. Sorry about the bubbles. A moment of silence to peel the phone off. That sound never gets boring. Anyway, let's put that guy aside for a second. We've got an Australian wall charger, standard earphones with the dongle, and we've got a lightning cable which I very desperately need. And that's pretty much it. Let's toss this aside, let's toss these aside, and take a look at the phone itself. So the phone is pretty awesome in the hand to hold. This is the Space Gray model. You can see me, yay! There we go. I really like the chrome on this. Let me bring it a little closer. You can see the chrome, the stainless steel chrome-like finish looks pretty amazing. And we got a camera hump, which I'm not happy about, but I'm hoping that next year's model won't have it. And we've got the notch, which is... I'm actually indifferent towards it. So far, I don't really care too much about it, but I don't know. We'll see. So, let's boot it up. Alright, I'm back. Sorry for the quick cut. I just finished setting up the iPhone. So that's how we unlock. And I just want to show you guys how do we set up. So we go to settings, set up face ID and then it asks you to move your face in a circle. You gotta do that twice. From my experience, I felt it was better than Touch ID. It takes less time, and also it's a lot easier. So the purpose of this is to get your face captured in all angles, so that if you're peeking it from above or from below or from the left or from the right, even if it's in different different angles, it, it will be able to capture it. And that's pretty much how the, the Face ID process works. Let's take a look at some of the new gestures that we have on the iPhone 10. And we swipe up and hold for the multitask switcher, and switch between apps, and then we swipe up again to go home. We can also switch between apps like this, which I really like. Uh, 3D Touch is unfortunately not here yet for multitask switching, but iOS latest update does enable it again, so that's also one of my favorite things about 3D Touch multitask switcher. And I'd like to quickly jump ship to the camera and show you guys that the portrait mode on the selfie exists. If selfie taking is your thing and also want to highlight one thing that I noticed right off the bat is the camera does not use the zoom lens when you zoom in during a video. So it's the same formula like the 7 Plus, it does not use the actual optical zoom that we have, instead it uses a digital zoom to replicate the same thing. So some of the other gestures that we have here are swipe down from the left for notification shade and if you 3D touch the torch, it turns on the torch, if you 3D touch the camera, it takes you to the camera, nice additions, well done Apple. And swipe down from the right, we get the control center and that's pretty much it uh, on the gestures part now for the new button combos since we don't have a home button in order to awaken Siri we have to press the power button and so Siri's back and if we press the volume up and power button it takes us to the power options where we can turn off the phone and if we do the same but just a quick tap we take a screenshot and these are just some of the gestures that I figured out. If you guys know any more, let me know in the comments below. I'd really, I'd really like to know what else is there in this that can make the user experience that much easier. And this is essentially a product red case that I've taken 
it is actually different in red compared to what my current iPhone 7 has. I personally prefer the iPhone 7's red than this, but I'll get used to it, I guess. I don't know. Huge fan of product red product red products. See what I did there? And yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I've got all red. So this case has a lip, so you can always put it face down, and then Race to Wake allows it to... Okay, I don't know why it keeps asking me for a passcode, I need to check, but yeah. From my experience, Face ID is a little inconsistent. It works well when it does, but in my opinion, it's a little inconsistent as you've seen. And the camera looks to be promising, but I haven't had the chance to take it out and test it yet. I will do that in a separate video. And what I am most impressed with the phone is the build and the display. The display looks absolutely amazing, guys. Um, it's not translating well on camera, but when you see it and hold it in person, it looks like a sticker. And there's only one other display that I actually feel looks like a sticker, and that is the Samsung Galaxy Note. Note and the S-series, the new, new, new phones. They look like absolute stickers as well. So it's really nice to see that Apple has nailed the calibration for the OLED displays. Also, the fact that Samsung actually built them but Apple has insisted that they've calibrated the display, which is, which is great. So thanks for watching, guys. I know it's been a really long first impressions unboxing video. Please like and subscribe and share. And I promise videos will get better. I will crank out more videos, but I need you guys to, to let me know how can I improve it. If you want me to do something different, if you want me to answer any specific question, let me know and I will try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.